Am I the asshole? For telling my friend her daughter is banned from my home after accusing my daughter of bullying. This is some drama so I will try to keep it as clear as possible. My daughter used to have a friend named Cat. They were besties in preschool until middle school but slowly grew apart. They are both in 8th grade. Now my daughter is popular and Cat isn't. I have heard about it from my friend a lot. My daughter invited a few girls ice skating at the beginning of the month. Cat wasn't invited and they had a text fight about it. It wasn't a pretty fight, I've read it. Overall friendship completely over. A few days later I get a call from the principal for bullying. I got in and the evidence was the text fight and areas were missing. Cat deleted her response so it just looked like my kid was bullying her. I showed the principal the whole thing on my daughter's phone. Basically got dismissed and teachers will keep an eye on it. My daughter kinda hates Cat now. The issue is retracted an invite to Cat for the holiday party at my home tomorrow. I got a call from my friend is pissed, saying we should help the girls make up. I told her she is banned from my home and she called me a jerk. Cat is apparently extremely sad and I need more opinions. By altering the text message chain, Cat manufactured evidence in an attempt to get Op's daughter in trouble. That the principal changed course when supplied the full picture makes that clear. Cat cannot be trusted at this time. Not the asshole. Cat falsely accusing your daughter of bullying is a step too far. And if they make up, there will always be the thought in the back of your daughter's mind that she'd do the same if she's upset with her. Not the asshole. Cat deleted her text so she wouldn't get in trouble and your daughter would. That's lying and manipulation. God forbid there's issues in your home and she makes allegations against you that might make the cops or CPS show up. So, question, does your friend know about how her daughter lied trying to get your daughter in trouble? You're not the asshole regardless, I'm just trying to see whether your friend is an asshole or just misinformed. Not the asshole cat's mom is enabling her behavior, and quite honestly neither would be allowed in my home either if they pulled that shit with my kid. As we grow, sometimes people grow apart. Not the asshole. If they aren't friends anymore, why invite cat anyway? And after the false bullying accusations, there is no reason at all to invite her, and every reason to ban her. Not the asshole. Cat tried to get your daughter labeled a bully by lying so there is no way she should ever be in your house again. Does her mother know she lied? Not the asshole cat made a false accusation against your daughter. She should not be given additional access to your daughter in her home. Not the asshole. Consequences of her actions cat is manipulative. Not the asshole. Your friend? An R. Cat owes you and your daughter an apology. Cat played around and found out what happens. Not the asshole. People grow apart. Just because you and your friend had them together in preschool doesn't mean that this will last forever. Your daughter should have the freedom to grow away if that's what she wants. Not the asshole. Cat falsely accused your daughter of bullying and deleted texts to try and make the false accusations, which shows she went out of her way to do that. That's not acceptable, and understandable if your daughter doesn't forgive her. Not the asshole. This girl lied to try and get your daughter in serious trouble at school when none of it even happened there. Then the girl's mother takes up for her and expects your daughter to just play nice. No. Absolutely not. Not the asshole you can't force your child to not feel ill towards someone who was bullying her. That's dumb. Your friend needs to teach her child how to treat PPA. Cat manipulated and edited text messages to throw your daughter under the bus as a bully. That's too devious. She cannot come to your home. Maybe someday, if she ever apologizes profusely and grovels. But she faffo. Not the asshole. The fact that she falsified evidence and tried to frame your daughter for bullying is crossing a huge line. I don't blame you for saying she's not welcome. I'd ask if they're aware of why you're mad at her. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, 
but your friend is. Unless someone is actually being bullied abused, I just don't see the point in getting this involved in my kids friendships. Cat's mom needs hobbies. So if you didn't have the proof that your daughter didn't bully Cat how much trouble would your daughter have been in? Did the school punish Cat at all? Not the asshole. Not the asshole you need to put your kid first. Not the asshole. Special events are not the time or place for reconciliations. Maybe the topic can be revisited in a few weeks if the daughters want to. People grow apart sometimes and that's okay. So long as they remain civil. Cat is a jerk and her mother is an enabler. Not the asshole. Considering a lot of schools have a zero tolerance policy, K could have gotten your daughter into some super serious trouble if you hadn't been able to prove the convo was altered. Not the asshole here at all. I feel like parents get too involved. Kids need to learn how to navigate friendships, arguments etc. This is creating a bunch of whiny, spineless humans. Not the asshole but you seem immature. I'm almost wondering if the girl wrote this pretending to be her parent lol. The parents are the R. Grow up. Not the asshole. Everyone in Kat's family seems to be awfully entitled to invitations when they're not welcome. Not the asshole maybe Kat isn't popular BC she's a sneaky lying little brat. Not the asshole I don't think your reaction is unreasonable but personally if Kat apologized and your daughter didn't mind I would re-invite. Not the asshole. Nope. She tried to get your kid expelled. She can stay gone. Not the asshole. What was in these messages that the school was considering it actionable bullying? Did you and your friend discuss it with your daughters and help them communicate with respect and decency? Did you parent this situation at all? Not the asshole. Her daughter tried to set yours up by deleting her messages to make it look like she was being bullied instead of having an argument with someone she used to be friends with. That is awful and she needs to face the consequences of her actions. Not the asshole. Forcing the girls into a room together will do neither of them any good. Especially one who lies to try to get your daughter into trouble. Be your daughter's advocate at all times. Are you interested in reminding friends with Kat's mum? I know you said you had been friends since college but I'm not sure this friendship has a huge future because of the conflict between your daughters. Not the asshole. Your friend's daughter almost got your daughter into a lot of trouble that would stay on her school portfolio until college. She almost ruined your daughter's future over a stupid party. You need to lose the friend and her daughter. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your house, your rules. And, good to protect your daughter. Not the asshole. A party is not the right place for the girls to make up. If your daughter doesn't want to make up with Kat then that's that. Sometimes friendships just can't bridge the gap into adulthood. Not the asshole.